Where are we at? The Kualoa Ranch. Ranch. Is this is where they um, shot Jurassic Park. Pearl Harbor. Um, there's one more. I just can't remember what it is. We're in the right area. I need to go put this camera back in the car and I'm going to switch over to the GoPro today. I can't bring this big camera on the horses, unfortunately. So it'll be GoPro for the rest of the day. Hi. We just got loaded up onto the horses. Jess, what's the name of your horse? What's that? God bless you. Look at that view. Good job, Boober. Doing a good job, buddy. Jurassic World. Dude, you gotta get away from the cliff, my man. We just got done with our horseback riding trail. We came about five miles up the road to Kaniki's Grill. Don't Do you enjoy it? On, don't quote us on the pronunciation of these places because we're just kind of guessing as we go. <laughs> but yeah, we're excited. The horseback riding was a great time and we were excited for some food. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, good, how are you? Uh, um, macaroni salad and I will get the Steak fries. This is yours? No, this is mine. That one's yours. Yeah, it's mine. I think I got the fried chicken. Yeah, so I got teriyaki chicken and. This looks pretty good. Yeah. Yours looks really good too. I like that mac and. Uh, is that the mac and cheese? Mac, uh, the macaroni salad? Yeah. Uh, what did that place remind you of, kind of? Like if we were in another country? I was thinking like back in Virginia. Oh, back in Virginia. Okay, back home in Virginia. This would remind me of... I don't think there's anywhere like this in Virginia. No? I kind of got that vibe of cookout. No. Were you, no? You could like pair up different like... I mean, yeah, you can match up different foods, but yeah. like this is really good food compared to cookout. It's like authentic. Um... It's real, real good. It's real, like, they have healthy options. They have not healthy options. Um, I got the teriyaki chicken and garlic shrimp. Is that you got the white fish? I got the white Pacific fish and the fried chicken and a bunch of steak fries. But I wish that I got the uh, the mac macaroni salad. That I got, yeah. Yeah, that stuff was macaroni delicious. Salad. I found that. And now we're going to go to the Dole Plantation or we're going to go to the falls first. I think we're gonna go to the Dole Plantation, and the falls seem to be close to where we are, our hotel is, and so we might just make our way down there once we're done with yeah. the plantation. Yeah, play it as we go. We'll see yeah, how let's that go get that some is. Pineapple. Let's do it. <laughs> Cue B roll.
at the Dole Plantation right now. We're gonna go check out an awesome maze, get some fresh pineapple, see what it's all about, and hopefully it'll be awesome. I love pineapple, so it should be fun. Or a delicious white fish plate. <laughs> We're on the Pineapple Express. Oh, you're right behind us. Right We're right behind, behind you guys. <laughs> pineapple is grown year round. However, depending on the time of the year, the fields you see may be fallow or undergoing planting or harvesting, which makes Wahiwa perfect for growing pineapple. Pineapples. Now, some of you may be wondering. <laughs> We just got off of the Pineapple Express, it about to amazing, hit the maze. Very informative. Jess um, has more info than I do. They told us to look for pineapples that are like green leafed. Um, that means that they're ready to go. They're going to be sweeter, um, that have a firm bottom to them. Um, soft ones aren't good. They said that the reddish um, tone of the soil here is because of the volcanic ash that went into the soil. Do you remember and that they one? They said that it's because of the iron that's in the soil that helps the pineapple grow better here. Looks like right here. And it's the same knife, the one we have right in the yellow box. And then when it's ready, when it's blooming, it becomes red. And as it grows, it becomes a big pineapple. Okay? So it takes about 18 to 22 months. And uh, that's the first fruit. So you can just use any regular knife. And after you cut it in quarter, what you can do now is to take out the core, which is part right here. Most people, they take it out because it's a little bit harder. And to cut it, what you can do is you just want to follow the curve. Once you're in there, you just bend it down. That way you can get more of the meat out from the skin. Now, to reduce the acid, you can rinse it water with sea salt. You can try that because I've been doing that and it works for me. And if you have like friends or family gathering just to serve it nicely, you can do it just this way. And to ready? One, two, three, take a bite. I'm dripping everywhere. Anybody else? Hmm. Sir, do you have one? That's really good. Salty, the pink I like that. It's good. Got it everywhere. Just got done with the pineapple tasting with a little plum action. Jess is over here trying to find our way, trying to find our way out of the um, pineapple maze. It's the biggest one in the world. It feels it feels like it feels like the desert. Got some umbrellas and stuff over there. <sighs> Jess over here just making her own path. <laughs> I don't even know what we're looking for. I don't either. I think there's like three things we're supposed to find. And we haven't found one. Maybe that's not a path. That's not a... Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't even know if I can fit through there. Okay. Wait, here's one, here's one. Oh, you found one. Well, that was fast. Be, be, <laughs> I'm gonna go around like a proper gentleman. I'm going all the way around. Oh wow, we found it. Okay. Nice to see you. I wonder what this is. Is that a pineapple? <laughs> you gotta stencil over with your little map. Good. Are you supposed to shade it? Oh wow. Is it doing anything? Oh wow, looks good. What in the heck? Oh, here we go. You had to push hard. I... So we've been in here for about five to ten minutes. We found one of these. Hopefully we can get oh, this, get seconds. out of here in like less than three hours. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <sighs> As a kid, I've always had an irrational fear of mazes. 
I think it stems back to my early childhood when I got lost in one at a place called Belvedere Plantation when I was probably like 12 years old. I think it's something about like the leaves and stuff. They kind of make me a little claustrophobic. Jess, I swear if you kill, if you scare me. <laughs> Where do we drive to now, babe? The Disney Hotel in Hawaii, Honolulu. And I don't remember, I think it's called like Alani or something like that. But I think it's you're right. Really cute hotel with like Disney store in it. Disney themed, there's like characters and things like that inside. Uh, oh yeah, Alani. So we're gonna try and get some massages maybe. Maybe meet Stitch, we don't know. I Let's hope see. we meet Stitch, we'll see. Let's see what characters we find. There's Stitch. But we didn't get to see Stitch, but we got some magnets. Yep, yeah, we got some magnets and yeah. maybe we'll see him soon. Maybe yeah. not. We're gonna chill here for a couple more minutes and then we'll roll out. Roll out, yeah. We're gonna enjoy this sweet looking scenery here. Look at that. Yeah, that's not bad. 